Hey everyone, thanks for coming back. This is Maria Weston, Certified Massage Therapist. Today I'm not really going to be talking about any self-massage techniques, but rather what's going to change in the massage room going forward after COVID. In the state of California, I am a stage three uh, business. Uh, it is considered a higher risk business. And this is because we're in a room together. Uh, we, are ha we have physical contact and we have prolonged uh, contact. So minimum 30 minutes up to 90 minutes. And this is considered a uh, high risk for transmission of COVID. So again, today is going to be just about showing you some of the different things that I will be implementing in my massage room. Um, if you have other massage therapists that you see, you want to look for these similar um, safety protocols. So the first thing that should be happening is you should be getting your temperature taken with a contact-free uh, thermometer. This one's super quick. And as you can see, I am 97.3. We are looking for temperatures that are over 100. The other thing that we're doing is we are wearing masks. Over the nose, over the mouth, completely covered. We are going to expect that all of our clients are wearing masks as well. Um, anyone not wearing a mask will not be admitted, I'm sorry. At, masks are an absolute requirement. In addition to wearing a mask, you're going to see me sporting. So other changes that are being implemented is I'll be wearing a medical smock like this. Uh, this gets rid of the apron that I used to use. This has deep pockets. I can put my lotion and towel in and whatever little thing I need during the massage. Um, but I'm changing this out after every client. Um, in addition, there will be 15, from 15 minutes to 30 minutes between clients. This will give me the opportunity to, again, change my clothes, um, clean the room. And I've also purchased a UVC light, which will actually sanitize and disinfect the room. Uh, that's just for added, added comfort and, and sanitation. The face cradle will go from just the single cover to being draped with a pillowcase to catch any moisture that may be coming from your breathing. Your mask may be worn below your nose while you are face down, but must be returned to its proper position as you turn on your back. Lots of hand sanitizer all around. Um, we are being asked to have clients sanitize their hands before going into the massage room and then after uh, coming out. Um, there'll be tissues available to use on the doorknob so you're not having to touch that. The um, soft bench that I have in my room will be covered with a um, cloth that will be changed out again after every client. Um, these are just the things that I'm doing. I can't speak for every massage therapist and spa or medical facility what they're doing, but these are the guidelines and uh, that were provided by um, our massage association as well as some of the ideas that I've come up on my own. My safety, your safety, these are all of paramount importance and I hope you'll understand and work with me and, uh, or whoever your massage therapist is as best as you can to keep us all safe. So if you have any comments, suggestions, um, queries, please feel free to uh, comment below. And again, uh, share, subscribe, and uh, stay safe out there. Thank you.